Hello friends, this is Arun and uh, welcome in my channel of Lightroom Photoshop and Photography. And uh, today uh, we will talk about uh, soft light effect with the image. Uh, this is the final result that I have applied layers on this image and I can show you before and after. Uh, this is the original image I have taken and uh, uh, this is uh, the effect that I have got up by applying the blending mode and uh, grain map you can more over say curves, brightness and uh, more stuff with the photoshop. So friends uh, uh, this is a very creative method to uh, to give your uh, to give your photos to a new look and new creative look. So let's see how do I do it in the photoshop. So firstly I will tell you about the image itself. Uh, this type of effect only work in the those uh, have uh, having the low contrast you can say each uh, photo has uh, having uh, their own contrast on light and uh, on exposure so each uh, photo requires each uh, you can say the set of layers uh, set of settings set of workflow so so this effect uh, you can say if you are doing the same thing with the image that I am doing uh, if you have the low contrast image like I have so you will get the same result so every image have uh, having their own value of uh, tonal contrast and uh, light like all uh, that stuff so I will start from the brightness and contrast uh, uh, I have already low contrast image uh, but I want still more low contrast so little bit of uh, minus 26 I want so this is the difference this is uh, uh, basically contrast is the def uh, difference between the shadows and the highlights so this is all about uh, you can say in a layman language contrast is the difference between the shadows and the highlights so I will go to uh, curves so I will give you an example for this that I have told you I this is this image is uh, low contrast uh, if I moving this point to the upper portion and uh, you can see a gradient line in this part this is the shadow part and this is the highlight parts so I don't want this effect but I will go to this uh, blue shade then uh, I will move this pointer to the upside more to the upside uh, then you can see a blue shade uh, uh, in the shadows and then uh, these are the highlights I will control highlights and a uh, little bit of uh, upper and uh, I will move this to point so this is this is before and this is after and moreover I want uh, more magenta I want I will try magenta and uh, uh, I'm getting magenta now if I am move if I am moving this point to the right side of this uh, box then you will get uh, this uh, magenta shade and uh, I don't want any further uh, from this side I think this is looking better uh, yes uh, I will try different things with the image uh, I don't want green and uh, uh, here is the most of the midtones are here I am um, I can see the highlights from the uh, this uh, histogram this is the histogram and uh, this is the curve box and this is a diagonal line mm, then I will go to red channel then I want more of a cyan uh, if I move this uh, slider to the right side then you will get the cyan value so mm, I will uh, set it uh, to this point uh, I want this Mm, okay so this is the value I want uh, later, later on you can set the opacity to uh, this uh, layer according to your style according to your taste 
now i will go to the gradient map i have told you uh, every time that uh, gradient map is a very powerful tool that uh, you can use with your image uh, so i will cancel again uh, i will go to this uh, uh, adjustment layers then choose this gradient map and i have already choose then click on this now click on this uh, click on this portion gradient and uh, you will have the uh, so many uh, predefined gradient already in your uh, this box so i will choose this one and uh, okay then i will set the this uh, layer mask to soft light i will try some different uh, hard light so this time i want hard light and opacity to set it to 33 33 then uh, i will change the color of this uh, um, gradient map according to my taste and uh, style mm, i want uh, not more orange but i want uh, more uh, this blue shade mm. okay then okay mm, this is uh, uh, before using the grid map and this is with the grid map now i will take another copy of this same grid map and uh, set this uh, blending mode to screen uh, uh, i want a little uh, bit more light with this effect Mm, I will set the opacity to seventeen. Uh, I will show you each layer. What uh, each layer has effect uh, on this photograph. This is uh, the original image. Uh, this is the firstly I have uh, low contrast with the image. Then uh, curves. Moreover, you can say the. Um, I just forgot the name of that uh, effect. Um, then uh, gradient map. Then again gradient map. So in the last. Uh, Mm, I make a new layer. I made a new layer. Uh, I will. Uh, I want some more light at this area. Uh, set this blending mode to mm, screen. Then choose orange, 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 uh, orange. brush tool i will choose i want to apply this uh, effect to this uh, white portion uh, i will hit once i have pressed three times of this effect uh, then you can see the difference this is before and uh, this is after you can see uh, some type of glow and some kind of light is coming behind of this person or, or uh, uh, i can show you before and after so i will show you each layer this uh, contrast low contrast then curves then grid map then again grid map with the help of screen blending mode then this now last uh, but not least i will choose this color balance i do color balance in the last because of uh, this is overall uh, your color with the image uh, i usually do the things with the color balance in the last of uh, my workflow mm, little bit of uh, these shadows you can see here these are more cyan if i'm using this so this is the final effect i want more over i will merge all these by pressing shift control alt and e then you will get 
this merging layer on the uh, on the same layer then uh, i want with netting uh, this is the method i have uh, ever used with my images i will apply this effect on the whole image then i will uh, make a selection that from uh, i don't want any um, vignetting or you can say the enter expose then uh, i will fill this selection with the black portion that you can see here then i will double click on this to get the more feather from this Uh, this type of vignetting we usually do if we want more focus on the specific part so for this image I want my this uh, focus on this part so now you can set your opacity of this uh, image according to your taste so I want uh, 57 53 I want and this is the final result I can show you uh, before and after I am merging all layers with the single image it is a heavy command and uh, it takes a time and uh, my laptop is very slow my configuration is slow of this laptop so that's why it is taking time mm, then uh, this is uh, you can see before and this is after this is a beautiful uh, soft light glow you can do that I have already told you the part that uh, all these uh, type of effect can be used with the low contrast image and uh, uh, further I will you uh, further I will tell you about uh, this effect with the another image in my second part of uh, uh, this video so I hope you have uh, liked this uh, tutorial and in future you will get more uh, innovative more creative uh, type of tutorials thank you friends for watching uh, this video and keep watching and keep in touch with me on my gmail and uh, facebook and uh, youtube thank you friends